Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft, back with another test in my Next Level Studio, getting ready to go check out the uh, new video setup that I've got going on. And before I do that, I'm pulling up this live stream on my Facebook app so that I will be able to see your comments. Yep, there we go. Doug Weiss is already in here. And uh, can I just, is there an easy way to just mute? I just, I wish there was a, well, I know that there's that. Okay, that that's one way to do it. All right, so let me hit play again. And where are all of your comments? There's Mike Arnold. Hey, guys. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch over to the other video angle. And I am going to go over here. There we go. And this should look a lot better than it did yesterday. So what I've got going on right now, I wonder how far out I can zoom out. Let's take a look at that. So if I zoom all the way out, can oh, check it out. You can see the whole thing. Okay, so here's the deal. What I wanna show you is that this rail I just hung this evening. So right up here, this is a three-fourths in, three inch gas pipe with some 90 degree elbows and some extensions and some flanges. And I've basically secured the gas piping to the ceiling here in the Next Level Studio. And then what you see is a light that is in the center and it points down at me. It's called the hair light. It kind of highlights my shoulders. You can see right here the highlights on my shoulders. You can kind of see a little bit of highlight on my hair. But let me zoom in and I'll show you. Take a look at my hair. You'll see all the gray. But if you look at my hair, you see just a there's you see that? There's a there's a little bit of a highlight right there and you see some light on my shoulder and that's coming from behind, that's called the hair light. All right, let me scoot back and we'll zoom this thing all the way back out again. And then if you look over here and over here, there are two lights and that is to light the backdrop. And the purpose of that is one, for a little bit of an effect of light, but also I have lights Currently, you see three lights set up here, but hold on, wait, give me a second. I have three more of these things. So I have one that's going to go right up here, and it's going to, these three lights that are right here are going to actually be hanging from the ceiling. So this is going to go up on the ceiling, and then I've got two more that will go over my video setup that's uh, over my desk so that I'll be able to to hang lights there. But right now, so far this evening, the only t thing that I was able to get my son's assistance to help me with was, was holding up one end of this while I uh, screwed in the other. It was uh, a little bit challenging, but I am super excited. Uh, but yeah, so right now, these three lights in front of me those are just temporary for right now. Um, again, this light and this light, and there'll be one more light up there. The only thing is, is I may keep one light down on the ground just to shine up, just in case I get raccoon eyes from, from lights coming down. We'll see. I might be able to eliminate the need for that just by having those lights at the, at the right angle with them being back far enough. But uh, let me go ahead and just show you what I anticipate this will look like. By the way, I'm available for AMA. Ask me anything, and I do mean anything. Uh, you can. It doesn't have to be about all this gear that I'm doing here. But let me just zoom in on the camera. Real simple setup here. And uh, yeah, so I could I could kind of keep it like this, just right here. I could zoom us in a little bit more. We could get a little bit more intimate. <laughs> And when you see me look off here, I've got a big monitor over here that kind of shows me what is the, you know, how does this look? And that's that's too close. All right, so we could back it off. Right about like that is how I feel, uh, maybe a little bit of headspace. And, and I think more than anything, I might want to just drop, like tilt the camera down just a hair. But um, 
Yeah, anyway, let's see who's here. Doug Weiss, Mike Arnold, Frank Lipsky. Hello, Frank. Bob Farman, Farm. Uh, let's see, Miguel is here. Bill Harris. Hey, Bill. I'm, and when I emphasize certain names, I'm seeing people from the Next Level Mastermind. Uh, let's see here. Troy Price. Thomas says, hey, Cliff. Hello, Thomas. Doug says, it looks great. The backlight makes a huge difference. Thank you. Uh, I, I agree. As a matter of fact, man, I love. Do you see that? how beautiful that lighting is? And here's the thing. I want to try it. I'm going to back up just a little bit because if Stephanie and I were here together, we would be a little bit more like that. And so if I was sitting all the way over here, I do still have, I still have good backlighting. And if Stephanie were right here, there's still good backlight. So I think that's gonna work great. We won't need, a, we won't each need our own backlights, which is great. Our hair lights, whatever you call them. All right, right up, right up, right there, okay. Looks great. Uh, the backlight looks ma makes a huge difference. Yes, I agree. Thank you. Ken Crawford is here. Todd is watching. Hello, Todd. Nelson Duffel. Hello. Jeremiah Shaver back again. Hello, Jeremiah. Bill Harris says, looks great. How far back is that? How far back is that bar compared to? And then I don't, uh, compared to, I don't know. Uh, what bar, so this bar is pretty much just right here, right? It's the bar is right above me, but the, but the lights are pointed be backwards and uh, the, or the, the, uh, mounts are pointed back towards the wall and then the lights are aimed, uh, well, the hair light is aimed towards me and, and stuff like that. But anyway, I, I, I don't know how to explain it better than that, Bill. And and I'm not sure exactly if I, I got your question right because it looks like it got cut off. Anyway, let's see here. Phil Zito. Hello, Phil. Um, where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? Oh, um, I am this close to the to the wall. So I'm I'm arm's length away from the wall. The camera, however, is about 10 to 12 feet away. So, the, I mean, so you can see how far the camera is just because I, I can, hold on, I can zoom out a whole long way. I mean, it, the camera is almost on the other side of the room. So the camera is pretty far off, but um, when I zoom in, you can't tell. So it's it's kind of just brings it right on up here, just looking off at that monitor and right about, yeah, right about there. Okay, Michelle Patterson Nip. Hello. What's your microphone? Sounds great. Well, thank you, Todd, for the compliment. This microphone, I can't remember the name of it, but I bought it from the people who did the uh, audio production for Free the Dream 2018. Uh, I this is what I use to speak on stage, and I absolutely love it. It's just a little Britney Spears style microphone. If you were to email me, I could send you a link to it. Just email me, cliff at cliffravenscraft.com. And when I get in, get some time to look at email again, I'll be happy to send you a link to to where uh, where they are. I think it's Spring Tree Media or something like that. But there's tons of them there. So, but yeah, it's it's just a it's a Britney Spears style microphone, and it just goes into a Shure wireless pack, which sends the audio way over to my computer over there, and and all that good jazz. What camera am I shooting with? I'm currently looking into a Canon HFG, either 20 or 30. And the only reason I say 20 or 30 is because I have a G20 and a G30. And uh, I'm not sure which one is which. They look identical and, and they have, well, pretty, I mean, for what I use, they're the same functionality. But one is over there for my uh, desk shot and one's for this shot over here. But it's Canon HFG30 is the newest version that I've purchased. I think they may have even come out with a G40 by now. Uh, he says, Bill says, you've answered it, thanks. Some people say being a techie and wanting new gadgets can be an excuse not to produce content. Or shiny, I believe you're like me, uh, me, the, and then it got cut off again. So, uh, yeah, I'm... Anyway, yes, uh, getting new stuff can certainly do that. However, that's not necessarily the case for me. Getting new techie gadgets and stuff like that is an excuse to create even more content. So just a couple weeks ago, I got the uh, Rodecaster Pro, 
And I have been creating content nonstop with that. I mean, like multiple pieces of content every day with that particular content. If you were an audio uh, journal subscriber, you would know just how much content I'm producing. Uh, so uh, it, it, that stuff, this stuff kind of, every time I get something new, it just inspires me to create even more content. Um, let's see here. Yeah, it, it, Bill says it. the new gear vote motivates me to promote, uh, to produce more. It does. In fact, one, one of the things is, is I've been wanting to get all of this set up because, well, there's a course coming soon. I, well, I've got so many courses already, but a new course is coming soon. Uh, there just might possibly be, might possibly be a self-study version of podcasting A to Z coming out at some point in the future. Maybe. Let's see. I'm, by the way, I, if you don't mind, I'm kind of just looking at uh, the phone here for your comments, but I'm also taking a look at the lighting. I still have not done white balance yet. It's still white balance to an old lighting rig, but this, I, I, yesterday when I was broadcasting, I looked a little orange, some people said, and that's because I had set these lights all to warm lighting. I've, I've set them all to daylight lighting right now, which is what the other system was, but there, it, the the distance of the light and all that stuff it still isn't perfect. I'm I'm looking at myself there. I'm looking at myself in in what you guys are seeing. I, I this is satisfactory. It could be taking up just a level above of what it is now, and it and still for me it looks a little dark on the face. And and I could go over here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna play around with that for a second. I'm gonna see if I can. Just uh, turn, let's see, that's not the right one. We'll just turn that intensity up a hair. Uh, nope, wrong one. Turn that intensity up a hair, and we will turn that intensity up a hair. Let's take a look and see how I like that. That, that I feel is a lot better. I, I do, um, yeah. I think so. Now, the thing is, I have to wait for you guys to see me. <laughs> I'm still, you You guys are seeing me a little bit behind. So you can see, I, this is what you guys are seeing when I'm talking live. And uh, I'm just now getting ready to come back to my seat. And now that I'm doing this, yeah, I like that. There's a little bit more shine on here because I have raised the intensity. So I'm, I probably need to back it off a little. I'll get all this stuff worked out. This is just testing around, playing around. Anyway, still available for Ask Me Anything. Uh, let's see here. Ann Sharpstein says, I did it, Cliff. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, Ann is talking, Ann and I had a mentoring call today, and she was talking about her desire. She has a strong desire to really spread her message, and she has a, has a desire to create more video content for those who are connected with her on social media, whether that be Instagram or Facebook. And uh, anyway, she she was really struggling with, as we all do, with, you know, how do you feel about going live? Sometimes it's, it's like, man, I just don't know what people will think about how I look. I don't know how people will think about how I sound. I don't know if I will, you know, if I'll have the right words when I hit record. Um, you know, there, there's all kind. we get, have some issues with self-confidence. We all do. Everybody does. Even I do. But what we talked about today is, is the fact that you just got to remember why you want to do this. Is it to impress people? Is it so that, so that everybody will love you? Is that the reason why you want to go and create content and publish it on social media? If that's the case, then yeah, I think that you have some things to be concerned about. Because if your desire is to get everyone to love you, everyone to be happy with you, everyone to think that you're the perfect person, um, the reality is... is you're not perfect. You're not going to be. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and and so th so if that's the reason for wanting to go live, then then you're probably you've got some good reason to fear. However, I happen to know Anne has a same a similar desire as I do as far as the reason and purpose for going live and creating content. And it's because you have a message in your heart. You have some experiences that you know if you could just share. Oh my gosh! Wait a second. Okay, this, I, I'm just now noticing that's a little intense. You know what? No, I think it's just that monitor. Never mind. What was I saying? 
<laughs> see, and you don't have to be perfect. You can get, you can see a squirrel and just like get distracted and you can still create content. It's not a big deal. I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm, you guys are the ones who decided to stop and watch. I didn't beg you to come watch. I just said, I'm, I'm available if you want. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, I, the reason why is because there's this message you have in your heart. You want to encourage, you want to entertain and inspire people. You want to, you want to help people. You want to use your message and make a positive difference in people's lives. And you can't do that if you don't ever show up in their lives. People will forget you exist. They, every, we all have so many things that are going on all of the time. And it's, you know, somebody might see you at a conference and you might make an incredible profound impact in their lives. And the reality is, is that, you know, they're, they're, they may, th they might buy your, they may buy your book. They may, uh, you know, follow you on social media and stuff like that. And, and the thing is, is if you don't show up in social media, if you're not posting anything, then eventually, guess what? They forget you exist. There are some of you that haven't thought of the name Cliff Ravenscraft in a very long time, but yet you saw me in your Facebook feed, and it's like, here, here's Cliff, and it's like, whoa, Cliff exists. I remember Cliff. I like Cliff. I remember how Cliff makes me feel. I'm going to watch Cliff, and it's not because I look great, although I am looking pretty good these days. I'm just saying compared to what I looked like 10 years ago. But still, it's not why you tuned in, is it? It's not, you didn't tune in because I'm the most gorgeous man in the world or anything like that. You tuned in because when you hear me and I show, when, when I show up, you feel encouraged, inspired, and motivated. That's what, you, you come, there's a little part of you, come on, admit it. There's a little part of you that when you hear my voice and you see my smiling face and you feel this energy, there's a little part of you that comes alive. That's why you're here. And it's not me. It's just, it, it's the message in my heart. It, it, it's, I, I will tell you, and, and some of you may choose to tune out. It's the spirit of God. It's, it, I really believe that. This, I was put on this earth to do the things I'm doing. And that's why you go live. You know, the thing is, is the crazy thing is, is we were talking about this. Ann and I were talking, you know, she, she was talking about, you know, we were doing our mentoring call and it's like hey, my, my, my background before behind the video here, this is cleaner than it's ever been. And we all do that. I mean, do you know how much money I spent on all of this stuff? So it looks better. And the funny thing is, is how many of you recognize the fact that this is the same shirt I've worn in pretty much every piece of content you see me uh, create lately. I'm going to tell you a little secret. I keep a hanger over there with this shirt on it, and look, all day today, I wear a t-shirt, and and yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll put on a dress shirt just because I'm going live. It's not, because, it's not because I'm embarrassed to be like this, and I'm okay being like this. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. Now, does that mean that you shouldn't dress up? Does that mean you shouldn't, you know, clean things up? That, does that mean you shouldn't invest in taking things to the next level? No, you can do that. But don't ever get to the place where you're not going to create content unless things look like this. Because it's not necessary. It's just not. All right. Ah, let's see here. Have you ever thought of writing a book? Yes, I have. And I've got about 5, 10, 15, 20 books in me. Just don't have a desire to write them anytime soon. All right. Uh, let's see here. My, by the way, I, I definitely want to uh, write a book with about the free the dream message. I'm going to take a drink here if you don't mind. Ah, let's see. By the way, Anne, if you're still here, I would love to know. Oh, by the way, I need, I need more questions. Post more questions in the comments, please. Actually, you know, if you don't mind, I am, no, I'm not going to put my, I'm not going to put my button up shirt back on. I'm just, let's go t-shirt. All right. What was I going to say? More questions, please. And, and if you're still watching, I'd love to know where did you post that content? I want to know where to find it. Okay. Your spot. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Phil is watching. This looks really good. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate that. Uh, what lights are you using? Um, these are called newer lights. They're N-E-E-W-E-R. 
There are 480 LEDs per panel. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve of them. Uh, I just got, I just ordered six more because well I'm insane, but but I'm I, I'm really taking some stuff to the next level. I do ha- I, do I have an I do I have man? Will somebody email me? A an email cliff at cliffravenscraft.com. You know what? Never mind. I got this. I happen to have a phone right in front of me. So check this out. I am going to cra- I'm going to compose an email to myself and I'm going to hit the plus sign. Type in Cliff Ravenscraft. Cliff at cliffravenscraft.com. Subject line resources. Because I need to add to my resources page. Um, I'm going to add to my, let me just tell you what I'm going to add to my resources page. I'm going to add my camera gear. I'm going to add my lighting rig setup. I will add that. Uh, Let's see here. What else am I going to add to the resources page? The Rodecaster Pro. Uh, what else? Uh, I, when I say lighting rig, it should be everything. So that'll remind me of everything, of all the little tiny and vlog gear, uh, vlog gear. All right, resources. What else needs to be on my resources page? Have you guys asked me about anything else? You asked me about lights. You asked me about um, uh, oh, you know what? The uh, let's see here. The background, background wood paneling all right so panels all right so i'll add that to my resources you you guys let me know in the thing anything else you want me to add to my resources page right now i i just started a brand new resources page if you go to mindsetanswerman.com slash resources you can pull it up right now if you wanted to mindsetanswerman.com slash resources there, it, right now, it's a page that the only thing there's only one section, and it's and it's all my keto diet resources because I've I'm on a keto diet now. That I'm on week two, loving it by the way, and I've been sharing you know all the frequently asked questions about that. Eventually, this will be our, that resources page at the at the very top. It'll say click here for uh, resources related to audio equipment and podcast equipment. Uh, and that'll take you down. And then uh, it, the other one will be video equipment and video studio set or video equip, video gear. And that'll take you to a different section. And then one might say ketogenic diet resources. Click here for that. And and so there'll be th- buttons at the top, which will just t- scroll you to the proper section on that page. Right now, it's just keto stuff. But uh, that's just because I just cr- started creating a brand new version of a resources page. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Caesar Abid. Hello, Caesar. Uh, let's, I'm going scrolling back up. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Uh, let's see here. You are, yes, you are. Uh, Don and I were just mentioning that. Hello, Vicky Cyphers. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen you in so long. And Don, Don, I hope you guys are doing well. Oops. Lost us on the most interesting man, but uh ha ha okay andy perkins uh james bailey is here richard marcotte hello richard marcotte good to see you here as well casey bone is here uh todd rosines you were spot on cliff thank you for sharing you're welcome roberto is here frank says if they remade lost would you and stephanie do a lost show probably not um I, I don't know. I, well, first of all, I don't think in a million years they'll ever redo Lost. I, I, and, and in a way, I hope they never do. Uh, I used to think, man, it would be nice one day if they did a movie, and I hope they never do. I, I really believe Lost was, Lost was what Lost was, and I don't think you should try to redo it or relive it or recapture it. Not, I was, I'm one of those people who wasn't too overly thrilled with how they ended Lost, but... With that being said, Lost was unique and it was special. And I don't think that you would get the entire cast to come back. Um, that was the original cast. And I would not want to see any roles recasted. I don't think you'll get Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse and J.J. Abrams all together on the project at the same time. So 
and, and I don't know that I would want them to. So number one, I don't. I think the the chances of them doing it are probably next to nil. If they were to do it, I don't know that I'd be all that crazy about it. Would I watch it? I'd check it out. Would I do a podcast about it? Probably not. Those days for me uh, in that realm uh, for now are over. Uh, you know, Stephanie and I just did, we watched all of Game of Thrones. We didn't feel the need to create a podcast for it. Uh, we watched all, all of Downton Abbey. We didn't do a podcast. We didn't do Breaking Bad. Um, you know, the, 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 the early days of podcasting and podcasting as a hobby, that, that, was a, that was a season of my life that I loved and, and, and it delighted me and it delighted Stephanie. But, you know, the thing is, is, is our, we're, we're different people today. And we have different we have different passions, and we've expanded and broadened our horizons. And I don't know, I it, definitely not lost. Uh, would we ever do another entertainment based podcast? I don't know. Depends. Um, nothing nothing on the horizon right now. But I appreciate that question, Chad Jeffers. Hello, Chad. Uh, Bogdan is here. Miranda, hi, hi Miranda. How are you, I, Miranda? Can I just tell you? You're one of the, you know, not so many people that I, I follow on Instagram, as you may know. And I just love seeing your smiling face at the gym every day. I it, just thank you for that. I appreciate it. As a fellow gym rat myself, I, I, Miranda, you, you rock. I just want to say that. Don says, it's good seeing you, Cliff. We're doing much better these days. God provides. I'm so excited to hear that, Don. We need to get together. Maybe we can do dinner sometime. Reach out to me. Email me, cliff at cliffravenscraft.com. Something. Um, yeah, that would be great. Megan Ravenscraft is watching me from upstairs. Awesome to have Megan here. All right. So yeah, that's that's all the questions, all the comments I have. So this was me testing out the setup. These, like I said, these lights that are in front of me, I, I have to get my son to come down here and help me hang up, hang up three more of these big you know, uh, what are they like cast? They're iron. They're iron pipes. So uh, they're they're not easy to hang by yourself. I can tell you that because every 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 little gadget that hangs up there is all iron, and uh, it's it's a bit of work. Let's see. Miranda says, "Same to you, Cliff. Glad we can inspire each other." Well, thank you for that. All right. I you know what? There are eleven of you watching. I'm willing to chill here for a little bit longer, but. The thing is, I, now I could come up with just random stuff to talk about, and I'll tell you what, if, you, if you're just absolutely at a loss, if you are at a complete loss for a question to ask me, but you would like me to continue, then let me know. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you can, I don't see likes on here, so you know how some things when you hit like and it, and it sh fly, flashes up hearts and stuff, I don't see that or anything when I'm doing this. So how can you just say, just send me like a thumbs up or something. But uh, if, if you guys don't want me to, I, 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 I will shut down my stream and, and go do some other stuff. I, I, I've accomplished today all the things I wanted. To... Oh my gosh, I haven't accomplished everything. Face palm. I just realized I have not started ed editing episode 100, 599 of the Cliff Ravenscraft show. That's something I wanted to do today. Thankfully, I've got all day to tomorrow, tomorrow to do it, uh, but um, yeah, so thank you, Ann. I'll check it out on Facebook. Thank you for tagging me. You know, with, because of that, you know, I think I'm a little too exhausted to edit my show right now, uh, so I think I will edit the Cliff Ravenscraft show tomorrow. Let me, let me take a look at my calendar real quick. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm supposed to do that. I won't. I'm supposed to do that. I won't. Rusty Ryle, I have an interview for his podcast at 11.30. I will do that. Uh, I'm supposed to do that. I won't. I'm supposed to do that. I won't. At 2.30, I'm doing an interview with Paula Foster about speaking at Free the Dream. I will do that. Um, schedule another. do. All right, so the Cliff Ravenscraft show um, will be edited and produced tomorrow. I will be I will try to get back here by nine thirty 
I'll work on that from 9.30 in the morning until, from 9.30 to 11.30. That would give me two hours to work on that. That may be enough time. And if so, I'll publish it right before my interview with Rusty for his podcast at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. And if I don't finish it by then, then after I'm finished with that at 12.30, I've got a two-hour block of time before my interview with Paula tomorrow. So uh, at the latest, it will be published before my interview with Paula for speaking at Free the Dream at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. So I'll still make my deadline of publishing by Friday, but I'm not going to work on it tonight. Jeff Jones. Hello. Welcome here. Thank, glad to have you here. Uh, Bill Harris says, working my way through psycho-cybernetics. That is very interesting. Thanks for that. You're welcome. I'm glad you're getting through there. All right. With that being said, my friends, I think I'm, I'm going to call it. So check this out. We'll, we'll back this baby up. Just show you how, how things look here. That's the wide angle view. And grab my button up shirt, grab my phone, turn off the front light. Whoa, that's not good. Tighten that up. Forgot to tighten that up. All right, turn off this light. Hold on. There we go. Turn off this light. There we go. And check that out. I, I'm I'm thrilled. I'm absolutely thrilled with with that lighting rig. I love I love what I do for a living. I love that I get to play with stuff like this. And and look at that. There's no. I mean, the, you got these poles and stuff like here. But I'm getting rid of that. I'm get, all of these lights will be out of the way. This one I may still have down here. The this one down in the to kind of shine up. But I may not even need that. We'll see. Hmm. All right. So let's see here. Yeah, you guys haven't commented anymore. So moving over to here, over to the desk area, click a little button. And here I am at the desk. And with that, my friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. And uh, just a reminder, Free the Dream Conference is coming up uh, September 13th through the 15th of this year in Franklin, Tennessee. If there's ever been a gap between the things that you desire to have in your life. Uh, maybe you feel called to do something more than you've ever felt called to do anything before in your life. There's something different, some different result you want in life. If it's physical fitness, if it's occupation, career, slash you know, work that you do, if it's a, a different relationship with your spouse, finances, whatever the case may be, if there's a gap between what you know you're supposed to be living and what you're actually the results that you have right now. Come to Free the Dream Conference. You'll learn how to bridge the gap. I promise you. It is a transformational weekend experience. Check it out over at freethedreamconference.com. And uh, I hope to see you there this September in Franklin, Tennessee. Freethedreamconference.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.